All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's try and finish this thing up here. We uh, we got one illustration colored, and I want to try another way using the gradient tool. So we got a couple challenges with that on this one. Okay, so this one, so the original one, I'm just going to turn off and kind of leave it alone for now. And on this one here, so we've got a few problems with the, using the gradient tool. One is that it's a complex illustration. So it's got multiple lines to make, you know, my shapes or my, you know, what, what, what would be the face. Then if I try to color it in, it's going to stop at areas, right? It's not going to ever work quite right. It's going to, you know, some areas are going to be open and there's just going to be no way to color the whole thing in and use the gradient tool effectively. So we're going to have to do something else. Um, the best way I can think to approach it is basically to trace a line under or a path underneath all the, sh the separate colors or the separate areas. I don't know how to explain it. So like the face would be one area. This um, part of the jacket, you know, that's a different color would be another area. You know, the different jackets would, you know, sections would be areas. So kind of trace everything and have a shape underneath that I can fill in and then use the uh, the free gradient tool on. So let's do that. So I'm going to make a new layer once again. And this is going to be the one that I color on. I'll just call it color just so I can keep it, keep things straight. Um, Magenta, is that going to show up well? Um, let's try it. Let's see if it shows up okay. I'm going to put it underneath my this drawing right here. And I'm going to lock this drawing layer. Okay, so I'm going to lock it for now. Make sure I got the right layers going. And let's go ahead and we're going to go underneath. Now, I could use a pen tool and all that, but I don't need this line to be super precise. I just need it to be underneath the other line. So, I mean, precise enough, but let's see. So I'm going to go to the pencil tool, and we're going to try it with a pencil tool here. And I want, let's see, I think I want a uniform line. And I'm just going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to try and get the whole face here and see if I can get this to work for me. So let's go. And I'm just trying to go behind. If it gets a little wonky... I can live with it. If I get out of the lines here, I'm just going to adjust it after the fact. Okay, now here, I'm running into a problem. I ran out of space here because I have my layers in the way. So let's just see if I can go like that and fix it after. Okay, so definitely don't want a big, thick stroke. And you know what? I think it might help actually to put this above, this layer above, so I can see the line. I'm going to make it really thin just so I can kind of see where it is. And then I can make my adjustments here. So you can see here the pencil tool, uh, what it does is it kind of evens out my drawing and turns it into a more, um, let's close this off. There we go. A Um, smoother path is the word I'm looking for. I'm like trying to think of the right word. Smoother path than what I drew. So it does kind of help us out there a little bit. But see, sometimes it kind of smoothed it out of the out of the lines, so to speak, I guess. Okay, now here's where I couldn't see because it just got too wide. So let's see if I can use my pen tool skills. And look at here, it just got all crazy. Okay, so... Let's untie this knot here. I don't know what happened there. But I know I have too many points. So I'm going to take my anchor points and delete them with a pen tool. And that one looks fine. And again, I'm just trying to go um, underneath my line. So I'm going to go to the anchor point tool so I can change directions here. Nope, didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's what I wanted. And one too many points again. Okay, so they can untie that knot. 
Hopefully you didn't end up with the same knot I did. And that should be good for the face. That shape. All right, there we go, not too hard. I'm gonna go back to the pencil tool right here. And I'm gonna have to, oh, here we go. Look at, I got another little line out of sorts there. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up here, my color, and I'm gonna lock that because I know I need to trace really close to it with my pencil tool. If I wanna use the gradient, I have to make a complete shape here. Okay, I'll try that again. Here we are. And the pencil tool is, you know, at your disposal to use as well with any of these kind of illustrations. The reason I teach the pen tool first is because you really need to know how to adjust paths and what's going on with these handlebars in order to even use the pencil tool properly to, to make, you know, your lines um, how you're going to want them in the end because you need to understand the way these handlebars act and adjust. even when you have the pencil tool you know it doesn't come out like perfect or anything so I think it's really important to understand the pen tool before even getting to the pencil tool okay so that's one shape right there okay so once again I'm gonna take that one and lock it because I'm gonna tr trace another one really close to it so let's go ahead and go here. I'm going to start that over again. It got wonky. And the other thing is, the pencil tool isn't always the easiest to use if you don't have a Wiggum tablet. Um, it's pretty hard to draw with uh, the mouse. So that's another thing. If you have a Wacom tablet, that's great. And, uh, you know, use it for sure. And But you might find if you're using a mouse that you're, this doesn't even work for you, that you might just want to go back to the pen tool, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, however you want to get these shapes, which we're going to use for color, is fine. Okay, so there's another one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock it for now. And let's go ahead and go back. And I'm going to trace a little shape here. All right, lock it. Got a little crazy there. Let's see. Should just unlock it and adjust it. I got a little too far out of the lines there for my taste. Okay, let's see. Shortcut, I believe, is Shift N or just N, just N. Okay, so let's go this shape here. So I can see even with my Wacom tablet, it's still pretty kind of wonky to draw. Um, maybe a Cintiq tablet would be better, which I'm not using right now. Um, I do have one, but I'm just using the tablet. Okay, let's see here. Lock it. N. Don't ask me what N stands for. There is an N in pencil, but I don't know if that's why they put that in there. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna keep locking them as I go, just so I can make sure I am not messing up my lines that I already drew. Okay, I gotta trace around the finger here. Okay, good. Okay, let's get this big shape here. So the disadvantage uh, to coloring this way is I do have to trace my lines again and I'm having to retrace, to make closed shapes, I'm having to retrace lines I already drew. Although, because it's underneath, 
and not having to be super precise. It's not that big of a deal. Fix that where I got a little wonky there. Okay, just making sure I'm not too out of the lines, too far out of the lines, or at all out of the lines at all in any places. Looks like I'm getting pretty close there. And the reason why we're coloring uh, the child or baby Grogu or baby Yoda, however you want to refer to him, um, twice is just so to give you more tools, to give you uh, different approaches and just give you more options in your illustrations and illustrator. So this is my next chunk of the jacket here. All right, I'll live with that. I'm going to lock it for now. And as long as it, you know, it is taking a few minutes to go ahead and do this, but it, um, you know, you're going to get a different look and making the uh, paths that we used in the last uh, picture of uh, the, the child, uh, that took a while as well. So that I, I think even took longer. So, you know, depending on what you want, how you want your drawing to look, you know, this approach might work for you, even though it is kind of uh, doing things, or getting some lines twice. I'm getting rid of some of these points here. Just getting a little gummed up that one. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Again, doesn't need to be super smooth. Just needs to be behind my other line. Oh, did I trace it twice? Oh, I'm at, wait. Oh, no, I did. It just didn't connect. Shoot, where is this one? Okay, let's see. Let's get you guys all back in place. Let's get rid of this point here. Nope, that didn't work. Let's get rid of that point there. Okay, they should be touching there. Alright, last little section here. Well, let me lock that again. N for pen. And zoom in as much as you need to, obviously, to trace as accurately as you need to. And that looks okay. Maybe just that right there got a little funky. Okay, let me take a look. So let me um, unlock these all. I want to move it underneath. So I'm going to move the color underneath. And there he all is. So it's all there. I don't see any pink lines, so I think I'm okay. All right. All right, this guy is locked right there. So let's go ahead and start coloring this. And let's see how well we can do with our gradient tool. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my black arrow. I'm going to select the head. And I'm going to get a nice kind of base. Well, that's a, that's a section. I just want to see what section I want to color. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Freeform Gradient tool. And there we are. OK, let's see what we can do here. Let's look at our points. Definitely don't want that to be that color. Let's go ahead and pick a green color. And I'm going to make my adjustments to my green color. I'm in HSB. Yeah, I'm in HSB. Okay, I'm going to save this green color. This is going to be my main green color. Um, I want to save it. So I'm going to drag it into my swatches there for now. And let's go ahead and take this color here. 
and let's make that the same color for now. Okay, let's find my other point. And now we got to start adding some shading and stuff like that. So, you know what, I want to make this the, I want to get rid of that point. Let's get rid of that point. Delete it. Okay, so we're all green. So let's try to use our lines and get some shading and see what happens. So I want to add a little shadow around this side. And of course, it just made it white, which is not what I want. Back to the gradient tool. I want it to be a darker version of the screen. Which I just lost. Let me get that back. Okay, there it is. Pull it down as well so I can save it and I can reuse it. There we go. Okay, so I got a shadow there. Let's go ahead and make another line. And I want to add my highlights. Let's go here. And let's change it right away. Okay. Hmm, not sure they're different, uh, different enough. I think I might need to make the shadow a little more precise. Let's add a point here, and let's make that the light color. And let's add a point here, and let's make that the dark color. Okay, now I'm going to want to make that a little darker. Yeah, I'm going to make that dark color more like that. So I'm going to drag that down, save that color. Okay. So unfortunately, I have to go to these points and make them my darker green for it to stand out and actually matter. Okay, and let's go ahead and add another point here. And we're gonna make that, you know what, we're gonna make that A little rosy. We'll give him some rosy cheeks like he's got. Let's see if this works here. Okay. And again, I'm just going to save all the colors I'm using. That way I can grab them easily. Make another point on that side. Okay, all right, all right. And let's see. Back to my gradient lines. And let's add a line there. And let's, okay, let's undo that. Oops, ended too much. Redo. Redo, redo. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and add a highlight over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. I got my line selected. I'm gonna switch it right away though to the correct color I want. There we go. And maybe that last one will add a shadow color. At least a little bit of a shadow color. Okay. And then he's got pink on the ears. So let's see how we can do this. I'm not going to get a great cut here with the gradient. But I guess I... Uh, let's see. Probably should have made a different shape underneath here. But we'll live with it for now. And see what happens. Whoops. Didn't mean to 
do that. Okay, here we go. Back into the gradient tool. Back into my line. And now I want to go to pink. Okay, let's see. I can make that a bit of a darker pink. Let me save that pink here. Make it a little darker. On the, nope, not that one. Nope, don't want to do that. Okay, points. Go to that point, and I want that to be a darker pink. Sure, let's do it like that. Okay, I'm going to save my colors once again. Do the same thing on this side. And go to lines. Okay, let's make that the darker pink. There we go. Let's make those the lighter pinks. Okay. All right, well, you know. Um... Is it working for me? I feel like if I would do this, I would just want to go to um, Adobe Photoshop and paint it a bit more precisely. But let's roll with it and compare, and we can, you know, see how we would, if we would use this, if it's even worth using in this program. I guess especially if you're not familiar with Adobe Photoshop, that might be another reason to... Uh, use the gradient tool instead. Okay, well, I think we'll leave the face like that for now. And let's go ahead and go to the hand here. So I'm gonna go to the hand. I'm gonna do the freeform gradient tool. And let's look at where it gave me some points. Let's make you green. Give me another one there. Let's make you dark green. Now that one needs to be lighter green. Looks like there's another point up here. That one for sure needs to be lighter green. Okay, so let's try and make this one dark green. So I get a shadow underneath. I can adjust these. I think I'm going to add one more point over here and make it dark green. I get a shadow as well. This might mean I need to move this a little more this way. Or maybe make it bigger. There we go, like that. Okay, next hand. Freeform gradient. And let's see where it gave me my points. Again, you don't have to stick with them, but if they do work for you, no reason not to use them. Okay, where's my one up here? That's the one I want to make lighter. That one I think just is too much. Again, I can make that bigger if I want to. Let's make that one dark. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's pick the next shape. And let's make it kind of a tan. Whoops, freeform gradient. Sorry. Got ahead of myself there. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. Let's start with my tan color here. Yeah, dark tan. And that one I'm just going to go ahead and make it tan as well, but then darken it up immediately. Okay, and I want to save that color. Because I'm going to use that again over here. And so here i got to adjust this. You can see, I might need to go brighter with that. Okay, which I might want to save as well. And let's see. Okay, so I definitely think I want a line down here. Like that. 
And now that I see my line, I think I, I made it too dark. Make that dark color too dark. So let's lighten it up a bit. Okay. I'm going to save that one now and use that for these other points. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll keep the highlight there. Okay, let's try and use those colors in this next shape over here. And freeform gradient, let's see where it adds my points. Okay, we'll make that my highlight. We'll make this one the new shadow color. Shadow color, the one down here, shadow. Again, this will be the highlight over here. That's too bright. I need to make it the uh, original color like that. Okay, and I'm just clicking out of it so I can take a look. Okay, okay, let's keep rolling. Free transform, I'm sorry, free gradient, free form gradient, can't get it right. And let's once again go ahead and look. Okay, that can be my shadow. This can be the highlight color for sure. And is that going to work for me? That might work for me. Once again, looking for the placement here. Highlight up here where the light would hit it. Shadow over here. And shadow over here. And then this one, I think. Yeah, shadow as well. I'll just keep the highlight there. All right, we're getting there. Next section here. Okay, so I'm going to start with, whoops. I just want to fill it in immediately. Okay, we'll make this the color for it. I'm going to lighten it up a bit because it's supposed to be lighter. I'm going to save that color. I'm going to go ahead and make this one a shade of that color. So I'm going to click on the color, darken it up a bit, and save it. Okay, and let's see this here. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's see where I got my points here. Okay, so I'm going to go to my line, and let's add... A line of shadow there. Add another point of highlight. I'm going to add another line. Whoops, let's undo it. Of highlight there. Okay, let's get the section here and go ahead and give it the same colors. Okay, so that one needs to be my highlight. Make sure I go to points here. This one needs to be my shadow. This one needs to go away. That one needs to just go away. I think I just need two points here, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Gradient. Freeform gradient. Um, that that could be my shadow color. This one could also be a shadow color. This one, we can do a highlight there, although I'm not sure there really would be one there. But that's okay. All right, last section here. Let's go ahead and give it a free form. 
Let's see where it puts the points. Those are the shadows. Make this the highlight. And I believe I need to go ahead and use my line. Make a nice little shadow down there. Okay. And obviously you can keep going and tweak things and add more lines and more shadows, but I just want to give a little quick little preview of how this thing's going to look. Okay, freeform gradient. I'm going to zoom into this little thing here. And let's see where the points are. Oh, I'm in lines. Okay, too many. That's going to be a light gray. You are going to be darker and darker. You're going to be gone and you can be lighter gray again. That one might need to be brighter. Let's see. Okay, so going back to edit that one, this ear looks a little too bright for me. I'm going to tone down the color, maybe by just adjusting it here. I get a little more of a blend. Get a little more of a blend with this one as well by moving it. Maybe move this one away. Oh, come on. I just want to move you. And the cheeks came out a little too orange. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm going to change that to the pink color there. Much better. Okay, well, there we are. <laughs> so two different ways to color this guy. So you know, another thing that might be helpful or good would be to mix the two styles together. So let me see here, let me uh, go back to this layer here. And you know, like, let's see if I can add a little bit of a gradient on his cheeks, maybe on the shifter knob as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create an ellipse real quickly. I think this should be pretty quick. Let's see. Okay, and let's change the kind of gradient it is. I want this to be more of a red here. And then I want, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And I want this to be actually, I want it to be zero. So let's take that down to zero. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it green just so it blends a little bit better, I think. Okay, let's see what it looks like on his cheek. Because it still seems to leave a little residual color there. Love to get it to nothing. I don't know why the nothing button isn't available for that. White doesn't work for me. Zero opacity doesn't work. Let me see if I can move it off. Hmm, maybe make it smaller. Because it's going over too much. I just want to add a little bit of like a rosiness here. Maybe I'll lower the opacity on that as well a bit, so it blends a little better. 
Okay, that works. That works for me. Let's duplicate it. Okay, well, lowering the opacity and then changing that color to white helped a little bit and make it smaller. Okay, let's see if I can get another quick one on. Let me just duplicate this again, just after quickness here. Let's see if I could turn this to white. Move it over here. Nope, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay, let's change it this way. There we go. Okay, let's make this a little smaller. A little shine there. Let's see how that one looks. That adds a little something. Okay, well, it's an idea. There we go. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, we got one color primarily with a live paint bucket, one colored with the uh, gradient tool and the freeform gradient tool. And we just got a little touch of gradients on him just to add a little bit of uh, something to that, to the cheeks and to the uh, little shine on the ball there. All right, hopefully you guys got something good out of this and hopefully it helped expand your illustration skills in Adobe Illustrator. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.